Hello there, you're in time for the handshake. This is a New Vision TV. My name is Lynn Komdisha. I have with me Paul Busharizi. Now, before I can talk to Paul, we have uh, been uh, celebrating uh, International Anti Corruption Day. Uh, and uh, here in Uganda, we celebrated it with the president instituting a State House uh, Anti Corruption Unit. Paul, welcome to the show. Thank you. We have an, uh, an anti-corruption state house unit. Mm. What is going on? <laughs> well, Why now? <laughs> well, I think, um, it is, I think it is safe to say that uh, corruption has not been uh, taken, the fight against corruption has not been taken very, very seriously. And the evidence of that, of course, is that the agencies are supposed to fight corruption, people like the IGG, mm. even the Auditor General, right. uh, are all undermanned mm -hmm. and under-resourced. Mm -hmm. So you can always point to those people as they are the people to fight those things, but they're not, they, they're not, they're not, they're not uh, financed and resourced, so <laughs> therefore they can't do anything. And even the, the police in uh, the CID and all that, mm -hmm. they have capacity issues and all that kind of business. So I think this is an attempt by the president probably to, to to put a personal stamp on the fight against corruption by bringing some of the fight closer to himself. Talking of a personal stamp, there's always been a, a few things here and there, a few units coming up today, tomorrow. Now there was the anti-stock <laughs> stock theft unit, mm -hmm. the Special Revenue Protection Services. What did they achieve? Even how is it called the... Uh, medical monitoring unit. Oh something. yes, yes. There's yes. now there's also the unit. land some uh, land uh, yes. probe com commission. Do these things ever really, really, really make any achievements? Well, I I, I remember the days of uh, the SRPS. It was mm. even led at one time by I think maybe the last person who led it was uh, the former police commander. Yeah. Police the IGP. Yeah. Kale Kaihura. Uh, and there was an anti-stock theft unit in Northeastern to guard against car wrestling. Incidentally, led by a man at some point <laughs> called Fearless Obonya. <laughs> the <laughs> name was Fearless. Was fearless. Right. Yes, was fearless. Right. I think they, 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 they provided enough of the shock to let things happen. I mean, there was a lot of, there is still a lot of smuggling, uh, especially on the eastern side. Mm. Probably not very much anymore since our borders are open and you know things can move freely. Right. But it provided a, a kind of shock, uh, shock therapy to to those things and the cattle rustling. You know they 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 kind of beat people into line literally and figuratively. <laughs> Is that what we're looking out for? <laughs> well, you know that might be it actually. They might need some shock. We actually badly need shock therapy Absolutely. in our corruption fight. Yes. And if yes. Uh, President's office uh, is going to provide that. I mean, the state house is going to provide that, especially since they have uh, hired a soldier to, to run the unit who is supposed to be fierce, fearless and quarrelsome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so hopefully, mm. you know, something come from that, yeah. So, so I wonder, what's wrong with the IGG's office? <sighs> mm. I mean, just straight up. Yes. It is. It is not. It is not financed. It is not financed. For example. And this has been a long cry of the IGG, just at a basic point. Mm -hmm. The IGG is supposed to have an office in every district in this country. True, true. You'll be lucky if the IGG has 50 offices in this country, and there are 800 plus districts. So you can already see, manpower-wise. Mm. I mean, it, it takes resources to fight corruption. Corruption is not concentrated. It's, it's all over the place, and therefore you also have to have that kind of presence. Right, right. So it's... it's um, it's, it's a tall order to ask the IGG to be very effective under those circumstances. And of course, uh, many things fall through the cracks when you don't just can't do the job. Are they going to work closely with the IGGs? It'll be, an interesting, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, uh, you, you, f you, run the ch you run the challenge. Uganda runs the challenge of too many cooks spoiling the broth. You have too many people yes, running yes, around. Yes. They'll start shooting each other. Uh, well, that's figuratively. Mm. Uh, you know, and, and uh, in all this... If if we were, I don't know maybe what would be useful maybe would be somehow some coordinating agency so 
person would sit and talk, uh, be a top, the IGG, the Auditor General, the CID, you know, all other corruption, the FIA, which is the Financial Intelligence Authority or something, mm. all working together, coordinating, achieve. maybe that would be useful, that would be a useful role for the State House. You mentioned resources. Do we, does the State House have enough resources for this? Well, in oh, my, is it taxpayers' is, money? Well, it's all the taxpayers' <laughs> money. And the budget is, is a reflection of the priorities of a government. Of a government. Mm -hmm. And maybe by extension, well, but not necessarily, but I was going to say by extension, the uh, priorities of the people. Um, when you look at uh, the resources given out to the anti-corruption things, right. they, don't really, they don't really match up. Mm. But we have other priorities, but still, you know, there needs to be more commitment to these agencies in order to see anything done. Commitment? Yeah. So, d do you see commitment coming in this? Because we have a well, fear I think there are certain at things the top. That, I think there are certain things that have changed right. in Uganda. One of the things is that uh, we are getting increasingly into uh, ag disagreements with our traditional donor partners. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they, they, are not, they have shown themselves they are not averse to turning off the taps every so often when we mm -hmm. annoy them. So we've, chi we've turned to China, but China is not really giving us what we call concessionary loans, concessionary right. money, which right. would be grants and very cheap loans. Mm. So in that, in that mix, we have got to, we've got to collect, we've got not only collect more money, but we've also got to tighten, we've got to, we've got to use the money we get for what it's used, and therefore right, maybe right, this right. might be the trigger for mm. corruption, uh, the, the corruption fight. So fingers crossed. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, there's a lot of... Uh, uh, cause for cynicism. Yeah. But, uh, well, this is our country. Unless you have another country, I you don't have to keep hope alive. I don't. We yeah. just have to keep hope alive, Absolutely. like you said. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome.